again, I am Eric Shavey. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about irrigation and plasticulture. Um, it'll be short and sweet, uh, but if you uh, if you have any questions, just uh, just let me know. Uh, you can call me. You can access that through the Farming Basics app. Uh, go to Etowah County, and you'll see Eric Shavey, and you can call me directly. I can help you out with that, but I'm going to get started here. So a lot of times we, uh, especially on drip irrigation. Now this is, this is uh, our drip tape that we use under our plastic. Um, doesn't have to be used under plastic. We've used it, you know, open field before, uh, but uh, mainly we're using this under plastic. And a lot of times we know how much do I need? You know, how much, how, how long do I have to run this? How much do I need? Well, you know, we normally say to get that one inch of water uh, per week is what we need. So uh, this is gonna be figured on one inch. Now under a heavy fruit load or um, you feel like you need to get more, it just makes it easier to, uh, to, to do this way and find out how long we need to run it. But how much do I need? One, you need to know your row feet. Uh, you also need to know your area under irrigation, which is pretty simple because we'll use our row feet. Um, and then that's multiplied by our row width. Um, I'm using three foot as my standard here. Um, depending on your bed, the top of your bed, you can you can change that if you would like. Um, but if we keep that standard three foot, I think we'll be we'll be fine. The uh, so our square footage. Once we get that, we're going to divide that by forty three five sixty. That's our uh, square footage in a, in one acre, and then that tells us our acreage that we have under irrigation. Um, so I know that there's some, some great publications out there um, that talk about irrigation and how long you should run it to get the timing. And it talks about row spacing and, and everything. And, and that's great if you're planting, you know, 10 acres of tomatoes there consecutive. But most of the time, uh, many of our growers are planting, you know, four or five rows and then they have a drive row and then four or five rows and have a drive row. And that just kind of makes it hard. So uh, trying to simple it down here uh, with that standard water requirement, one inch per week, um, that's a total of 27,154 gallons. So if you think of a paved parking lot out there that's one acre and we get one inch of rain, that's how many gallons of water is hitting the ground. Uh, so we take our acreage under irrigation, multiply that by the 27,154, and that tells us how many gallons per week we need to get that one inch of water. And, uh, and if I've lost everyone so far, I'm sorry, but this is, this is how our brains work during, uh, during the season. Um, so I know how much I have to have, you know, but what's my system doing? What, what type of drip tape did I use? What is, what's my output? Again, we already know our row feet. Um, and then we know the flow rate in gallons per minute per hundred foot because one, it's on the tag. Um, and I've taken a snapshot of a, some drip tape there that if you look down at the bottom where I have circled, it's that 0.45 gallons per minute per hundred foot at the optimal eight PSI. So that's, that's information you'll need to know. Um, it's easy to snap a picture of that. Uh, when you get your roll of tape that you're laying, snap a picture of that on your phone, because once you put it on your machine and you put your covers on the side and tighten it down, then you're like, well, which one did I get? You know, what's my, what's my, uh, what's my flow rate? Then you got to go and take your plates off and look and see what you, what you bought. So the equation to know our output, you can see at the bottom there is our uh, feet of row. Divide that by 100. And then you take that answer and multiply it by your flow rate. And so that's going to give us our output in gallons per minute. So I'm going to back one up. So now we know our gallons that we need per week. Now we know how many gallons we're putting out per minute. So how long is it going to take? Um, we go back, you can see I just mentioned that gallons per week to get one inch, our output. We divide those, our gallons by our output, that gives us our runtime in minutes. Uh, of course, just to simplify that, you would divide it by 60 minutes because that's in an hour. Um, irrigation time in hours at that sufficient eight PSI. Um, 
as I go through, I've just got a small example here. Uh, let's say you got some high tunnels, you're irrigating 120 foot rows. Uh, and there's five foot rows in there. Um, we take our 600, we're gonna divide or multiply that by our, uh, divide it by 100, multiply it by our 0.45. That gets our 2.7 gallons per minute. Um, when we get our three by 600, that's 1800 square feet, divide it by our acreage, um, gets our acres, our acres under irrigation, multiplying it by that great number of 27,154 that is now ingrained in my brain after making this uh, presentation and, and dealing with a uh, Excel spreadsheet. Um, that's 1,113 gallons per week to get that one inch of water. Um, divide that by your output, uh, 412 minutes. So almost seven hours uh, to get that one inch of water. Um, so I hope many of you are going, yeah, that's about right. That's, that's what I do. Um, and if some of you are going, wow, I don't run mine that long or wow, I run mine way, way too long. Um, this is, this is very flexible because depending on what time of soil type you have, um, depends on, you know, what you're, if you're trying to push your plants, what your fruit load is, but just trying to give you some type of basics on how much you need, how to figure out how much you're putting out and to get us close in that ballpark. Um, again, I'm gonna go to my, I said it was short and sweet here today. Um, I have an Excel spreadsheet built. So if you, uh, if you call me to get me to help you figure that out, um, I'm gonna ask you row feet. I'm gonna ask you how many gallons uh, per minute you're putting out and how many rows you have. And I can plug that into that spreadsheet. Uh, regardless, if you're running a single drip tape or double, um, we can figure that out for you.